helicopter was found in multiple caves in southern Oregon, uh, mostly in the vicinity of Grants Pass. The spider's official name is Trogloraptor marchantoni. The, uh, the first part of the name, uh, Troglo, is a cave-related term. There are a variety of other cave-related terms like that. Uh, troglobites, which are creatures that live completely in caves, so uh, Troglo just is a cave, uh, cave-type creature. And then uh, raptor means robber. Uh, you also hear that like uh, with velociraptors, various dinosaurs is one of the main things we associate raptors with today. And, and then uh, Marchington is my last name. And then with an I on the end, it uh, sounds Latin. It's just something that scientists typically do with naming new species is they uh, sort of tend to make things sound Latin even if they aren't. Uh, very unique species, very large uh, hooked claws on the legs. And the, the biologist again thought it was something really unique, probably a, a uh, very unusual discovery. So sent them off quite a few more specimens uh, in all organized uh, three additional trips back to do collections at different sites. The, uh, the collections all came up with quite a few. We had males. We did some live collecting too where we uh, sent some specimens back to the California Academy of Sciences for further study. Ultimately they, they did find out that it was a new species and that it was an entirely new family to science. Being a new family is sort of an interesting thing. Uh, it probably happens every, uh, every tw 20 years as far as spiders are concerned or so with uh, a new family being discovered worldwide. It was the uh, first one discovered in North America as far as new families of spiders since roughly 1890. So it had been a long time since we would found another new family of spider in North America. The importance of a discovery like this, there were a few unique things about this particular uh, species. One is that it's a relic species. It doesn't have modern relatives that we're aware of at least anyway. We're always discovering more species. There may be some related species we just haven't found yet. But from what the, uh, the scientists that studied it found, they found that really the closest living relative of, I mean the closest relative of this particular species was the goblin spider which was around during the, the periods the dinosaurs were around. So very, very old spider. Uh, probably has been hiding out in caves since the end of the Ice Age. So the, uh, the news of the discovery was uh, pretty significant to the media, it seemed. Uh, got calls from, of course, a variety of local and regional newspapers, uh, places like the, uh, <clears throat> uh, the Medford Mail Tribune picked it up, uh, the Ben Bulletin, the uh, the New York Times, the San Francisco Chronicle, um, as well as uh, broad, broad uh, media outlets like the Associated Press, where it ended up going all the way around the world. Uh, I saw it made it into the Telegraph in the UK and the Pakistani Times and really uh, made it all over the place. Uh, it was Discover Magazine's one of the top hundred science stories of the year for them. I think they put it at number 18. So it was a, a, a big deal there. Uh, it was in Scientific American, which is a fairly well-respected science magazine. And, uh, it won't change the world, but what it does do is give us a little piece of understanding about the natural environment that we uh, all live and have to share and survive in. So understanding little pieces of the world is what science is about. Not every discovery is going to be a new paradigm that will shift the way we think about things, but those pieces together give us a great deal of insight into the world and how things work.